Angel for you. Tonight is a victorious night. My name is Angel Lovasala and I'm your MC for tonight. So tonight is a Friday and Friday means Holy Fire Day. So before the book starts sa atong services tonight, so I just want to welcome everybody, especially sa atong first timer, second timer, and the third timer karon na na sa atong streaming. Welcome everybody and welcome sa inyo tonight. So before the book starts sa atong services tonight, so karon guys, naatay pa games. So kisa na excited sa atong pa games. So, type A man kung excited na ba dyan ka sa atong games tonight. So, ang title sa atong game karon is Guess the Gibberish. So, simple lang ang mechanics ani na game. The viewers will analyze the given gibberish phrases based on Bible verses. And also, the, the viewers will will answering the correct correspondence ani na given gibberish phrases. And after that, after na ito na siya answeron, is ito na siya mabalhan kung asa na siya nabilong nga book. So, ready na ba ta? So, karon, here's the number one. So, time is up. So, ang answer sa number one is I am the way and the truth and the life. And makita na to siya sa book of John for chapter 14 verse 6. So, ay mo ka pala ka kay napay ika, duha. So, here's the number two. So, time is up. So, ang answer sa number two is his love endures forever. And ato siya makita sa Book of Psalms, what, chapter 136. So, proceed to number 3. So, time is up. So, a correct answer sa number 3 is, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So, ato siya makita sa Book of Joshua, chapter 24, verse 15. So, proceed to sa number 4. So, time is up. Ang correct answer sa number 4 is, Trust in the Lord with all your height and do not lean on your own understanding. Ang makita na siya sa book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. So, the last man studying sa atong game is number 5. So, time is up! So, ang tamang answer sa number 5 is Be still and know that I am God. So, makita na to na siya sa book of Psalms chapter 46 verse 10. So, I hope na nalingaw to sa atong games ka rin, no? And enjoy the rest of the night. See you! See you next week! God bless! for today sa Victorious Night and right now, mag-praise and worship na karon So, let's prepare our hearts our mind and I encourage everyone na mangita mag-place, na mga comfortable mag-worship kay Lord. Amen? Amen.
everybody! Today is a victorious day. Welcome to our online youth fellowship. This is the church that welcomes you as you are. Let us all acknowledge the holy presence of our dear Holy Spirit. Welcome Holy Spirit. And we would like to welcome our senior pastor, Pastor Rico, Pastor Jotam, our youth pastor, Pastor Glenn. Welcome po and welcome to our Elders, our Ignite, and of course, our Holy Fire Youth. Welcome everyone, welcome. So last month, na humana na judo ang ato ang kwano, ato ang last series na Living with Purpose. And this month, na na putay new series. And this month's series is entitled, God News About Grace. Amen. So amazing jud kayo ato ang new series this month noon. And it is a must to watch jud. So magtanaw jud tayo every Friday no. Amen. Amen. So to those who don't know me, I am Laleen Grace Urbano and I am your speaker for tonight. So before anything else, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, precious Holy Spirit, Lord God, the kings of all kings, the lords of all lords, the beginning and the end, the author and the architect, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord God, for this victorious day, Lord. Thank you for giving us another chance to live, Lord God. Thank you for all the opportunities, Lord God, the chances, Lord God, the provision, Lord God, the answered prayer, O God. Thank you so much, Lord God. And Lord, forgive us for all of our sins, Lord God, sa hunahuna, sa pulong, sa buhat, Lord God. And Lord, I pray, Lord God, na as we, are, as we are asking for forgiveness, Lord God, also help us, Lord God, to forgive others, Lord God, especially ourselves, Lord God. Lord, I pray, Lord God, you will cleanse our heart and your, our mind, Lord God, so we would be able to enter your holy presence, O oh God. And Lord, I pray, Lord God, as we start, Lord God, this word, Lord God, this amazing word of yours, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that you will open each hearts and each minds, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, you will anoint your word, Lord God, you will anoint your servant, O oh God. And Lord, I rebuke all the destructions, O oh God, in Jesus' name, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord God. And Lord, I pray, Lord God, na ikaw na bahala, Lord God, ikaw na bahala, maghatag sa ilang tagsatag sang portion, Lord God and Lord have your way in this event Lord God have your day, have your way in this service oh God and Lord we're bringing back all the glory and honor and praises to you in Jesus name we pray amen and amen amen so tonight oh, we will be tackling about this amazing topic no so our topic for tonight is entitled guilt and grace amen and our key verse is in James uh, chapter 2 verse 10 it says uh, for whoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking all of it. Amen. So the question is, Ate, what is guilt? Unsa medyo ang guilt? Yes, we know what it feels like. We know kung unsa na ang feeling na kanamurag overwhelming, kaayo, na kanamurag grabe, kanamurag kaburdent ang feeling sa imong heart. Amen ba? Inga na ang feeling sa guilt, di ba? Pero unsa jud ang guilt? Unsa ang purpose sa guilt? Nga nung naa may guilt. So, is it the way kana murag mao ba na ang kana murag every time na ka makabuhat tag mali kay murag. Kuan siya punishment ta siya ni Lord na kana murag. Sige, nakabuhat kag mali, i feel sa na siya. Mao na imo ang kuan punishment. Mao ba nang guilt ate? Mao ba nang purpose sa guilt? Inga na raba ang guilt. So, um, Actually, dili. It's not. The purpose of guilt is not just to make you feel bad. He has a greater purpose. Amen ba? It is actually, guilt is actually a warning light. So, to some of you, we may not know, kanang murag, sa ubang sakyan ng kimurag, na siya warning light, kanang, every time nga kanang murag, na agoy kuan, na ay, Mali sa yung sakyanan niya, nagguba sa yung sakyanan, nagablink blink siya sa bumper niya. Tama ba? Nakita na ko na siya sa mga salida, ingana. Pero sa mga naikar, pakikonfirm, char. Sa mga to, ingana, ano siya, more siya warning light na kanang if na ay mali or kanang na ay kailangan ayusun sa yung life, life maka-feel ka anang guilt or warning light sa tuwang life. Amen ba? Amen. So, there are two types of guilt. Basin maingon, basin maingon na to ba ka ng isa ra man ang guilt, basta ka ng feeling na ka ng kon, nga nang murag, unta, walay makabaluan ni, unta, walay makasakot na ginabuhat ko ni. But, actually, na ay two types of guilt. So, what are the two types of guilt? First is, the genuine or real guilt. So, the genuine guilt or or real guilt, it has come from the fact na we've all done wrong. Inga na good na we Ang sa kanang word, dawat na sa kaugalingo na we hurt others, so we hurt ourselves, we hurt God's heart. 
Ingana ang guilt. Guilt is when you are worried sa kanang murag to someone nga kanang imuhang napasakitan or imuhang nasadan. Amen ba? Amen. So the second type of guilt is false guilt. Amen. False guilt is think is thinking na kanang murag na akoy nabuhat na mali murag na akoy unsa murag na jud mali ingana feel nako na ah, pero dili nako ma-confirm kung unsa. Pero Unsa mo nag worry po ka ka nang hala basin makabalo sila unsa akong nabuhat pero dili ko sure kung unsa akong nabuhat pero feeling nako na ako ay nabuhat. Amen ba? Amen. So, there's also false guilt na kanamurag. It is because you can't past your past. Amen ba? It is when you kwan gud murag that kind of feeling na kanamurag gi nag-as naman ko forgiveness kay kay Lord kapila na balik-balik na pero nganong feeling nako kay kanang murag wala gihapon ko niya na forgive nganong feeling nako kay dili ko niya kaya mo forgive amen ba so the question is how do i tell the difference so na daw three tests na, na you need to ask yourself so the first question ay is it the focus on people or god So according to Dr. Paul Turner, says that false guilt is that which comes from as the result of judgment and the suggestion of men. So false guilt daw is kana murag gikan siya sa laing tao. Kana murag ang laing tao ang nagaingon na na sa imuha murag kana murag manipulation good just like for example kana murag lo ikaw mong good imuha mong good siyang gikasabon imuha mong good siyang gikuan giaway nga na god mo na siya ang false guilt. So while if unsa daw kanang genuine guilt daw siya it comes from unsa divine judgment kanang ko unsa ang pananaw ni Lord ana nga situation like si Lord ang nagaingon ana sa imuha kay if you are struggling with false guilt daw kanang murag you can see yourself kanang murag finding other people's kuan kanang opinion or approval kanang murag kay ginaprove ni mo yung muhang self sa laing tao kanang murag wala ko ni gibuhat dili ko ni sala Inga na God. Amen ba? Amen. So, the second unsa question that you will ask yourself is, is the focus on vague or specific? Vague is kuan, kan, marag, something unclear, dili sure. Inga na. So, so, if we are being asked uh, what's the struggle we're facing, we can really say it. So, if vague daw yung mga feeler ka ng false hope, kan, marag, dili daw niyo ma-pinpoint ma kung unsa imuhang sala kung unsa imong nabuhat kana murag imuha lang feel lang nako kanang nakoy sala feel nako nakoy nabuhat pero dili ko sure kung unsa dili ko sure kung asa amen ba amen so if modo na imong na feel satan's is satan is the one who is talking to you dili si lord while if si lord kay si lord man good if unsa kana murag na siya gusto ipabago sa imuha if, or ina siya gusto i-correct sa imuha he will tell us specifically ipinpoint jud niya kung unsa ang imuhang sala or unsa imong nabuhat dili kaniya i-confuse amen ba amen so the last question that you will ask yourself to tell the difference is is the focus on rules or relationship if we're if you are if we are struggling with false guilt daw we will we unsa we tend to feel na kanang Hala, I broke the rules. Hala, ningon biya si kuan niya. Dili daw dapat ni. Hala, ningon biya si kuan niya. Bawal daw ni. Hala, nga nung gibuat ko man ni. Hala, nabreak na ko ang rules ni kuan. Nila, nung saan, sa kuan. E nga na. So, while, while when we're struggling with genuine guilt, we're worrying about na kanang, hala, napasakitan na ko si kuan. Hala, napasakitan na ko ako mama. Hala, napasakitan na ko si kuan akong friend. Hala, napasakitan na ko si Lord. E nga na. I mean ba? You can tell the difference, di ba? Amen. So the difference between two is the rules become more important than relationship. If kuan, if false relation, if false guilt siya, so it becomes religion rather than relationship. Ingan nasa. So in church, it looks like it becomes duty rather than desire. Amen ba? Amen. So whatever. Whatever kind of guilt man kung ang ato ang nafeel, it's either false guilt or genuine guilt. Natay different kinds of one more dealing with it. Pero if natay kay if natay way kita nga tao kung saon siya pag deal, napuy way si Lord kung saon siya pag deal. Amen ba? Amen. 
So, our ways of handling guilt is just like in Genesis chapter 3, verse 7 to 12, pero naka, na siya, naka shorten. It is it says that they sewed the fig leaves together and made something to cover themselves themselves. They hid from the Lord God. I was afraid that because I was naked, she gave me fruit from the tree, so I ate it. Amen. So the first thing we uh, the first thing we tend to do though when we are handling guilt is that we often respond with shame. Amen ba? Amen. We feel bad about it. We feel like an amurag. Hala, dili na ko deserving. Kanamurag. Ala, ina ni uy. Kanamurag. Ah, wala na uy. Wala na. Ulaw na kaayo. Di na ko mabalik. Tago na ko kay Lord. Kay, grabe jud ka ulaw sa akong gibuhat. Hinga na ba? Di ba? Nagapalayo ta kay Lord. Nagatago ta. Kanamurag. As if wala ta niya nakita. Amen. Amen. So, di ba, da, um, sa, naka-highlight din ya, oh, they sued the fig leaves and tried to hide out. Amen? Amen. So, the second thing we do when we are handling guilt is hiding. Amen. They hid in the bushes from God as if God couldn't see them. Amen? That's like, uh, unsa ka na murag ginatabunan, guni mo yung muhang face, o sa yung kamot na ka na, Lord, ayaw kong tanawa, dili ko worthy tanawon, kay grabe na ko kamakasasala, grabe na ko kahugaw. Amen ba? Murag po doon ka nang, murag balik na dito sa dashboard, katong warning sh- warning light sa dashboard, di ba? If naga, unsa naga blink ang light, it means na ka na, na kay nabuhat, na kay, unsa, na kay, na ay mali, na ay kailangan iyusun. And, unsa sa tuwa daw tao, kanang murag, unsa mostly daw sa tuwang respond, ana is kanang murag, murag, ginatabunan na to ang dashlight na kanang, as if wala na to siya nakita, oh, wala ko kita ato, wala, wala yung mali ah, wala ko kita ato, murag, yung anak siya, di ba? Like, what's the sense? Amen? Amen. So, so, the last thing we do daw, if we're, unsa, handling guilt is, blame. We blame others. Of course. So, di ba katong time nga nagatubang na si Adam, si Eve, o katong serpent sa atubangan ni Lord kay Juan? Kanang, nangutana daw si Lord una kay Adam na kanang, did you eat that fruit from the tree? Then, nitubag po daw si Adam niya, Juan, at nang murag, wala uy, dili ako ato. Si Juan, si Eve, naghatag sa kuwa ato. Ano siya, kaunon daw na ako. And then, nitubag po si Eve. Then, ni, ang saya, kanang, tudlo po ni Eve ang serpent. Ano siya, uy, dili ako. Siya ang nagingon, niya, kaunon ako to. Amen ba? So, nagpasahanay sila. So, murag, sa tuwa, murag, it's easier for us to blame others than to accept na natay mali. Amen ba? In 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, it says na, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Amen? So, ang three ways na kuan nato sa paghandle sa guilt is, we often respond with shame, hiding, and blame. But this time, this is God's way of handling guilt by His grace. Amen ba? So, the first thing na, um, so, we, uh, the first way na ginabuhat ni Lord is confess or tell. It feel it looks like uh, we are confessing to God na Lord, I did it, the Lord. I confess my sin, Lord. Nagkamali ko, Lord. Lord, mo niya akong sala, Lord. Amen ba? Amen. So, telling God or confessing to God means more than just admitting. It's, unsa ko, kanang dili lang siya kanang murag, Lord, no? Kamali ko, Lord. Mo ni Lord. Mo, okay. Mali ko. Murag, dili lang siya, nga na. It's like, Lord, mali ko. Tama ka. Tama ka. Wala dapat na ako nigibuhat. Tama ka nga ka ng kuan. Kanang, dapat kaniya ko ang gears pan ani, dapat naminaw ko sa imuha. Kanang, it's also agreeing to God. Na kanang, nagkamalik ta. Amen ba? Amen. So, how do you do that at the Ate, how do you do that? How do you tell God? How do we tell God? So, uh, we do it through prayer. Bisan asa ka, bisan karun, you can talk to God. Eh? Bisan naglingkod lang kadira, you can talk to, to God. You can tell Him everything. You can confess to Him your sins. He will listen. Bisan asa man ka. Amen. Amen.
But to some of you may not know, kanang murag, the, dili murag, the Bible also encourages us to, unsa, to tell a friend daw. Amen ba? To tell a trusted friend. Amen ba? Because it says na kanang, there is something healing about that daw. So, it is on James 5.16, it says, Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so God can heal you. Amen ba? And then, maybe some of you may ask na ka nang, Ha? Huh? How come na mag- makashare ko na sa iya? Ha? Uy, nga ka nang, maglisod mo, kukonfess kay Lord? Kaya nang murag, iya pa lang kong ikundim, iya pa lang kong i-judge, iya pa lang nang gamitin na against ako. Ah. That, that's why, sa trusted friend daw ni mo share. Dili lang basta-basta dili lang sa imong katapad, dili lang sa imong silingan, sa imong trusted friend. Amen ba? Then the other question is how come man lane nga kanang naay healing over that nga kanang murag mugingon lang man ako. Pero there's a possibility man put good na if you share that nga kanang murag mugingon sa sila, "Oh, nagastruggle pud gud ko ana. Nagstruggle pud gud ko ana. Hala mo pud gud na akong ginastruggle before." And then all of a sudden maka ka, "Oh, I'm not alone. Dili lang dahi ako nakafeel ani. Hala, nakuan, nakuan naman dahi ni niya, nakasurvive naman dahi siya ani. Or maybe, ikaw ang makasurvive ana and then you become a ano, inspiration to um, sa to those people na nag-struggle pa ana yung ginastrugglean ka ron. Amen ba? That's the power of sharing to someone. Sharing to your trusted friend. Amen ba? Amen. So, Maybe some of you nakaingon na ka nang wala makakabalo, giingon naman ang kapila naman ko nag-share kay Lord kung kabalo lang ka kung kapila na ako ibalik-balik og share kay Lord, gihilak kay Lord na kanang nangayo ko forgiveness pero wanted ka mo wala jud gyapon ko naka-feel sa yung forgiveness. Dili jud gyapon ako ma-feel na na-forgive na ko niya. Yes? I get that. So that's why in the second part of 1 John 1:9 reminds us to experience God's grace. We not only have to confess our sins, but we need to trust God's character. Amen. Maybe, dagan sa tuan na nag-confess na ta kay Lord Kapila na, pero we don't really know the God na kwan na nag-forgive sa tuan. Wala na to siya gila-ila, wala ta ni duol sa iya hajud. Like, giingon lang na to, dun hawa na ta. May nga na, that's why we can feel His forgiveness. Amen ba? Amen. So, eh, tanawan ninyo sa Hebrews 10.22, it says, Let us come near to God with a sincere heart and a sure faith because we have been made free from a guilty conscience. Amen. Jesus makes us free from a guilty conscience. That's why nagpakamatay siya sa cross. That's why he sacrifice niya iyang kaugalingon sa cross. Amen. Amen. So, unsa daw kana murag when we I can when we ask for forgiveness man good, mura ka og kana murag nagatuon pud og bike. Amen ba? Siguro ka mo katong naka remember pa mo atong murag first bike ninyo, di ba murag Naamay nagagayd sa inyo ha nagagunit sa inyong likod sa bike ingana and then ingon kanya sige pedal lang pedal lang gunitan ako imong likod ingana ingana pero murag maglisod kag salig sa iya kay kanang what if wala di kaniya gigunitan dili ba ni mo siya makita di ba amen ba amen so night time siguro na kanang murag unsa murag mo nag bike na ka and then murag suddenly ma remember ni mo nga hello basi unsa wala niya gigunitan hello ko an basin ko anan di maratol ka and then mag unsa na ana ana na ang kanang manuwela di ba ingana and then hello matumbo ko matumbo ko basi wala ko niya gigunitan and then you fall kay naratol man ka kay wala man ka ni tuo nga gigunitan niya imong likod wala man ka ni tuo na nagaguide sa imong ha amen ba but the thing is it's okay to fall. Because whenever we fall, ginatabangan pa ni Lord na mubangon. O ginatahatagan ta niya og new strength. Ginatahatagan ta niya og new chance. Amen ba? Amen. The last way of God handling guilt is accept God's forgiveness. Amen. Sa last part sa verse, diba, it says na, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. He will purify us from all unrighteousness. All. Not most of our unrighteousness, 
not some part of our unrighteousness, but all of our unrighteousness. Amen ba? Amen. It is also says in John 3, 8, people who believe in God's Son are not judged guilty. Amen. So today, you can clear the issue. Pwede na ni mo isa talang issue. Pwede na ni mo buy anak ng guilt. Because today, God is telling you, I will judge you not guilty. Siya na mismo nagingon anak. So accept it na. Dawata na. Amen? Amen. So, ate, if you accept God's forgiveness ba, does it mean nga ka nang dili na ko magkamali? Does it mean nga dili na ko ma-fail again? No. Pero it means na if you do, if you fail again, if you feel guilty again, you what you are going to do is you confess your sin again, you recognize His willingness to forgive you take consequence and recognize that His grace can even help you with the consequences. Amen ba? E nga nakagrate ang grace ni Lord if you are just willing to accept it. Amen? Amen. So, siguro makapangutana po ka nga ng Ha, unsa mo ka sure wala ka kabalo kung unsa ka dako ako sala wala ka kabalo kung unsa ko kahugaw wala ka kabalo kung unsa na ko napasakitan ako ng anak ako ang mama kung papa kung friends wala ka kabalo how can you tell na kanang ma forgive ko ni Lord sa ako ang nagbuhat nga grabe ka dako nga grabe kapila na nako gi unsa gi pangayo og kuan kanang murag forgiveness ni Lord na forgive ko niya pero sige ko balik-balik wala ka kabalo wala ka kabalo so, how sure are you na ma-forgive pa ko ni Lord? Yes? I get you. But when you start to read this book, God's book, then yes, ma-forgive pa ka ni Lord. He cannot just forgive you, but He can also use you. Amen? You, when you read the story about the guy named Abraham in the Old Testament, he started out as a guy who is worshipping idols. He had a lot of struggles with lying. Yet, we call him the father of our faith. You read the story about the guy named Moses who started to start his life who was a murderer. He was a murderer. Yet today, we call him the one who set the children free to go to the promised land. When you read the, the story of a guy named John Mark who was a coward, he left a missionary trip because for some reason he was afraid. You and I call him the writer of the book of the Bible called the book of Mark. Amen. You read the story of the guy named Paul. He started out by being named Saul. He went to churches and persecuted people. He actually stood by while Christians that were murdered. Yet you call him an apostle and a writer of the New Testament. Amen. Those that people have sinned, those that people are imperfect, just like you and me. Yet, God still forgave them. God still used them. God still qualified them. Amen? Amen. God really wants you to be freed from that guilt. I know na some of you, kay ka na murag, pila na kay years nagakling anang nga guilt. Maybe some of us, kay ka nang, since tong bata pa ta, maybe some of us, kay na murag, nahimut na nang murag teddy bear sa tua, na ka nang, dili na to kaya, na ka nang, wala na na siya sa tong kilid, murag, na normalize na na to siya. But this time, maybe it's time to let that go. Give it to God. Maybe, maybe, once that you surrender it to God, there would be much more greater things na ihatag ni Lord sa'yo mo ha. 
Amen. But I know, I know na it's not that easy. Maybe sa yun lang siya iingon, pero lisudud kayo siya. But, ang mga dagko na butang, nagasugod sa mga gagmay na butang. Amen ba? Amen. And they said na, if na, na ay mag-close na door, na po'y mag-open na door. Amen ba? Maybe it's time to set yourself free. Amen? Amen. So, whatever case, I have a verse for you. It is in Psalm 32, verse 5. It says, I finally admitted all my sin to you and stopped trying to hide them. I said to myself, I will confess them to the Lord, and, for, and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. Amen. So, it's time to recognize God's grace. Because God wants to forgive us and shower us with His grace. Why? Kaya deserve na to? Dili. Deserve na ko? Dili po. Deserve ni mo? Hmm? Dili po. So, mano? Because He loves us. Yes. He loves me. He loves you. He loves us. Amen. So, right now, have this time with the Lord. Talk to Him. Whatever you want to tell him, talk to him. He will listen. I promise you, he will truly listen. He is there, willing. So, uh, let's listen to this wonderful song. Now 
much sa atong worship leader and I hope na nagkatay mo with the Lord and na share yun niyo sa iyaha tanan tanan niyo gusto share and now let us close this in prayer. Our Father in heaven, precious Holy Spirit, Lord God, the Kings of all kings, the Lords of all lords, the beginning and the end, the author and the architect, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord God, for this victorious night, O oh God. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us another chance, Lord God, to live, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for the word, O oh God. Thank you, Lord God, for reminding us, Lord God, that your grace is always there, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for reassuring us, Lord God, that you will forgive us, Lord God, no matter what we did, O oh God. Thank you so much, Lord God, for your grace, O oh God. Thank you for your love, Lord God, for your comfort, Lord God. Lord, thank you so much, Lord God, for everything, O oh God, and Lord, we, I, I pray, Lord God, that you will forgive us, Lord God, for all of our sins, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you will free us from guilt, Lord God, and whatever burden, Lord God, that we feel, O God. I pray, Lord God, that you will have your way in our lives, Lord God. And I pray, Lord God, that you will continue to talk to these people, Lord God. And I pray, Lord God, that you will shower us with your grace, O God. I pray, Lord God, that you will be able to tanan tanan, Lord God. Have your way, O God. And Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you will be able to talk to these people, open heart, Lord God, and open mind, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you will comfort them, O Lord God. I pray for restoration, Lord God, for consolation, Lord God. In Jesus' name, O Lord God. And Lord, whatever they are feeling right now, Lord God, have your way in them, Lord God. Send your angels upon them, O God. And ikaw na jubahala, Lord God. And Lord, we're bringing back all the glory and honor and praises to you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Amen. So, thank you so much, everyone. So, now, here's our life group question. I hope na kanang makashare yun ta sa ato ang life group leader and feel free to ano to share to everyone. Have your have have a great night, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope na makita kita pata this Sunday and next Friday. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great night. God bless us all. Shalom. We are encouraging everyone to join our life group discussion. Please contact Vince Goetia for you to be assigned to a designated life group leader. We would like to invite you this Sunday on our online Sunday celebration every 9 a.m. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Holy Fire Youth Service. See you again next week. God bless.